Yo guys, I found a great deal on the Facebook Marketplace and I'm going to pick it up right now. Boom, boom, ba boom, 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 ba boom, 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 boom. Some old school Sirwin Vegas with the red surrounds. Dude was asking 60 bucks for them. I offered him 50. He said, come get them. I'm going to get them. For two tens, uh, no enclosure, 25 bucks a 10. If they both work, it's a smoking deal. Get you a little energy. Just so you don't get screwed over on any kind of purchases that are used or anything like that, like say off of Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, anything like that, I'm just gonna give you a couple of tips. Always bring a multimeter. Bring this bad boy. You can buy these at Home Depot, Menards, Walmart, uh, Harbor Freight, Northern Tool. This one is a pretty decent one. I got this at Pawn America for like 40 bucks. This is the Fluke. 16 multimeter super easy you just got to turn it to ohms has auto sensing and it just reads it for you uh, and then a 9 volt battery this is a 9 volt battery I know it doesn't look like one um, but this is a 9 volt battery that we basically soldered on leads to the top of the battery and then it gives you wires off of it so you can do an easy pop test we got these for a score Two of these bad boys for 50 bucks. Yeah. I'm gonna use these for home theater subwoofers just so everyone knows I'm not gonna actually put these in my car. I don't think that they can handle all that much power so I'm going to only throw like 100 watts at them. This one's in better shape, but they're both in good shape in all reality. I'm happy with the purchase of both of these. Let's see if I can just show you how to pop test them. So you got your battery. Your nine volt. You're gonna locate your terminals. This is a single voice coil subwoofer. So I don't gotta worry about pop testing any other, any other terminal except for this one. All right. So we're just gonna tap here and here. Let's get real close. See if you can see that, all right. See that? It's always going to have a little bit of a scratch when you pop test it and that's just because you're sending it straight DC power. Pretty awesome, right? So you want to make sure that the subwoofer moves up and down pretty freely and that's with the, with the pop test there. Always check it both ways. So you have it go up and have it go down with your multimeter. Move it to ohm. Then you'll just put it on either one. I mean, in all reality, doesn't necessarily matter. But I like using the little alligator clamps because it helps. As you can see, it's resting at, uh, it's a very loose subwoofer, so it's going to kind of bounce up and down as you kind of breathe on it and talk. So if you end up getting a subwoofer from someone and it's not quite reading right it's more than likely because it has a soft uh, basically a soft suspension and within that soft suspension it can actually basically make your ohm load look as if it's blown because it's bouncing all over the place right yeah see the trucks the trucks on right now so it's kind of moving around but basically if you if you speak into it in a, and kind of blow on it, make it move up and down, you can kind of tell that it's actually moving. So basically, let's see if I can tap this and show you. As any subwoofer moves or any speaker moves up and down in the coil, the actual impedance changes. That's just how they work. So if anybody's trying to buy a subwoofer from you and they go, yo, your ohm load's bouncing all over the place out here. I can't buy this thing. Take it to a calm area where nothing's moving and have them read it then. Because more than likely, the subwoofer works just fine. It's just, you know, it's got a soft suspension. If anybody that's out there on the internet basically says no to any kind of test that you want to do, just walk away from the deal. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. Why would you, why would I give someone $50 for paperweights? 
You know, why would I give someone $500 for paperweights? There's no point. That was a quick guide to pretty much not getting ripped off during this heavy season here, especially in Minnesota now that it's getting warmer out. More and more people are going to be selling their audio systems out of their vehicle to upgrade. And that can be a great time for you to get some deals, but at the same time, don't get ripped off.